the sum of my class. In my class, there are 30 children. So if you think about it, that means there are 30 mouths and 30 noses and 30 chins and heads, 60 eyes and 60 ears and 60 arms and legs, 60 hands and 60 feet means 60 socks and shoes and 60 gloves and coat pockets we are careful not to lose. This next one I don't think that our teacher even knows. With 30 children and 60 feet my class has 300 toes 300 fingers too but some of those are thumbs so many amazing things to learn when you're doing sums. Staying at home. It's been a while since I went to school. At first, when it closed, I thought it would be cool. But now I'm not sure, and I'm missing my friends. So I hope all this nasty germ stuff soon ends. We have to stay home to keep us all safe, and stop these germs spreading all over the but the problem with always staying at home is that I have to play so many games on my own. Mummy told me it won't be like this forever. And if we are all on our own, then we're alone altogether. She said she knows that it's hard, but we can make it more fun with video phone calls where you can see everyone. We called my friends on the screen and all made silly faces. And we were together again, even in different places. Soon we'll be able to all go out and play. But if we stay at home now, then it will all be okay. Drawing pictures. Sometimes when I draw a picture, I try to make it super neat. I copy what I'm looking at until I'm sure it looks complete. Sometimes when I draw a picture, I let the colours slip and slide. In the end, it might not look like much, but it is how I feel inside. When I'm drawing carefully, I know what it is going to be. But when I let the colour swirl, it's like the picture is drawing me. Big babies. Everyone was a baby once. Even you and me. Even your head teacher. Even your mummy. Everyone wore nappies once and cried if they weren't clean. Even a brave policeman. Even the English Queen. Everyone once crawled about before walking on their feet. Even the fastest runner or an Olympian.
couldn't make athletes. Everyone babbled baby talk. Not words like you or me. Even people who sing on stage. Or the newsreaders on TV. So, if you think little babies are daft. And they can't copy the things you do. Remember it wasn't so long ago. That you were a baby too. And remember that every grown up. With the clever things they explain. Was once a little baby too. And we all started out the same. A million stars. My mum says our sky is full of millions of stars and billions of planets like Earth, Jupiter and Mars and those stars all look little as they twinkle in the night closer up their massive balls of fire, gas and light they are actually gigantic suns like ours that rises every day. They just look so small and twinkly as they are all so far away. Some stars are 10 times bigger than our sun that sets and rises. And space is a huge mystery with never ending new surprises. One day I'll build a rocket and I'll go and see them all. Mum said space goes on forever. And we're only very small. There are many things and places that we may never understand. But that's why our lives are special. And then she took my hand. There's always more for us to learn and more to make us wonder and as we watched the stars all twinkle our eyes were also twinkling 